Hello there and welcome to my iMovie tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add effects to your clips uh, and I'm going to do this using iMovie running on my iPad mini but it will work just as well on your iPhone. So let's get started straight away by opening the iMovie app by clicking the icon. Next let's open up the project that uh, we want to add the effects to so go to my movie 2 and let's go into the timeline by clicking edit. So here we are in the timeline. Uh, let's zoom out a bit. Uh, and as you can see, I've got four clips. Um, and if you want to add effects to all of these clips, the best way to do it is to go up to the settings uh, panel, which is this little gear icon up here. So if you click that, And here in the project settings window, you can see there are 10 uh, looks that you can give your clips. Uh, black and white. So as you can see, that makes it black and white. Blast gives it some kind of vignette and, and kind of increases the saturation. Blockbuster kind of gives it a, a bluish look. Blue gives it a, a slightly different blue look. Camo uh, kind of subdues the colors and gives it a slightly sort of a, uh, a grayish look. Dreamy, there's a bit of a light leak on the, the edges there, uh, washed out the colors slightly. Dewtone, now, now that sort of gives it a very distinctive orange, slightly fluorescent look. Silent Era, uh, that makes it black and white, and I know there are some kind of um, scratches and, and dust that, that will run when you um, apply this filter. Vintage, yeah, slight vignette, slightly orangey, slightly increased saturation, makes it look like it was shot in the 1970s. And finally, Western, that kind of uh, makes the colours a bit more sort of muted. Um, yeah, don't know how you'd um, explain that one. So let's come back to none. So when you apply any of these filters, you're applying it to all of your clips, regardless of how many clips are in your timeline. But if you only wanted to add uh, an effect to one clip, so for instance, uh, let's, let's add an effect to clip number two here. And you see it's... Uh, Piccadilly Circus, so let's highlight it again and come down to this little filters option here. And again, we have the same 10 filters. So let's, for instance, give it a black and white look. So now if we come back to the timeline, clip number two is black and white, but all of the other clips are still full color. And because we have a transition here, a dissolve transition, when we play the timeline, it will slowly fade to black and white. So there we go. Now equally what you could do, you can take a clip that's fairly long. So let's imagine that we want to, to fade to black and white in the middle of this clip. So what we will have to do is, is find the point at which we would like it to, to become black and white. So let's run that. So there, as it turns, let's imagine that we want to turn it black and white. So let's highlight the clip, come to actions, and we need to split it. So where we've divided it, it will be absolutely seamless. You will not see the join because we have the cut transition. You see that? Okay, so here we are color, and here we are, we want this to be black and white. So let's highlight the clip, go to filters, select the black and white, and the clip is indeed black and white now. So let's just play that. So it's nicely colored, and immediately goes black and white. Now if you want that to fade 
to black and white. Let's highlight the transition. Click on dissolve. So now when we play the clip, it will dissolve to black and white. So here we go, color, and it slowly fades to black and white. So there we go. So that's how to add uh, an effect to your clips, either globally or individually. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. Please like and share and check out some of my other films.